Did you know that the hospitality sector is considered the world's most ancient industry, tracing its origins back to the 15,000 BC? Given its extensive history, it is natural to expect fierce competition or saturation within the market. Our team, in collaboration with our industry partner, aims to tackle these very challenges. Our project aims at building a barometer not for the weather, but for measuring the buzz in the hospitality sector across the United States. Okay, let's take a look at the analytics framework. Let's start with the met methods that we have used. The first is cluster analysis. So this is a technique that helps us categorize counties and hotels into distinct groups based on the criteria that are set up by a business partner. Next, we have the market vibrancy index. This is a composite matrix that is crafted to assess the health and activity levels of the markets, providing insights into markets dynamism and readiness at a county level. Our assumptions are critical to the analysis that we have done. We assume that the samples of the hotels that we have used for the analysis are representative of the broader hotel market. Success in the analysis that we are doing is defined by the alignment between the outcomes of the cluster analysis and the market vibrancy index. Let's now go into our deployment and life cycle. The deployment and life cycle management framework is iterative. It starts with deployment, putting our solution into operation. Next is training and recording to equip users and document performance. And then we go into data resynchronization, which aligns our system with the latest data sources. We then go into feedback collection, which gathers user experiences, feeding into the impact analysis in the next phase. This analysis establishes objectives for the following update, and then the policy review that reassesses operational guidelines. And finally, we draft a roadmap plan for future iterations of the project. Now, let me guide you through the methodology for the process. Here, we move up the value chain in which the data undergoes pre-processing to ensure there is uniform granularity across the data set. We then conduct EDA using Python and Tableau to uncover patterns and relationship. Advancing further, we tap into the capabilities of machine learning to leverage the k-means technique to cluster counties with similar characteristics. Parallelly, we calculate our MBI, that is the market vibrancy index, by assigning different weights to various features, providing a comprehensive measure of the market activity. To make our insights actionable, we use tools like Plotly, Dash, and Tableau to create our interactive visualizations and dashboard. The analysis began with feature engineering, assessing hotels' proximity to amenities and airports to evaluate convenience. This phase involved developing metrics for measuring hotel integration with local environments. In the clustering stage, we analyze hotels at the state level, categorizing them into clusters to understand their geographic distribution. This method provides insight to the spatial strategy of hotel distribution. Indexing involves scoring each county on its ability to support hotel growth, covering all counties nationwide to highlight regional advantages. Delta Hotels and Conrad Hotels were highlighted, with Conrad slightly leading in strategic positioning. Finally, we compared vibrancy scores across states and identified Conrad Hotels as a leading brand and leveraging strategic locations for growth. This streamlined analysis offers insights for strategic planning in the hotel industry, emphasizing the importance of location and regional advantages in driving growth.